we're going to have to address this eventually. I feel like, especially with our foray into the Kardashians in that world, eventually we were going to have to address the man with my namesake and his black widow of an ex-wife, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Um, For those of you who've been living under a rock, because it's been on literally every social media platform, just completely inundated with what is going on at this trial right now. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard are suing each other because Amber Heard a while back wrote an op-ed that Johnny Depp was an abuser. Turns out she's an abuser. (laughs) And Johnny Depp lost a whole lot of work as a result of her claiming that he was the abuser. And in narcissistic fashion, when they broke up and divorced, if she would have just left it alone, I doubt that any of this ever would have come out. But no, she had to go write an op-ed claiming that she was the victim Which, to be fair, he said some pretty heinous stuff, but when it comes to actual physical, mental abuse, it seems like that she was the main party uh, that was involved in all of this. And so currently, Johnny Depp and and his team has been uh, going on trial, and and I think later on in the proceedings, Amber Heard's going to actually get to take the stand and you know, make her claims. But right now the case is looking pretty, pretty heavily in favor of Johnny Depp. Amber Heard's coming out of this looking real, real bad. And it, I would not be surprised if Johnny Depp wins this lawsuit and she has to pony up. I can't remember if it's 50 million or a hundred million dollars, but he's suing her for an obscene amount of money. Um, and when you think about all of the work that he's lost, he's lost Pirates of the Caribbean. He's lost the Harry Potter series, uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. He's lost some other smaller movie projects that he was involved in. And so I would not be surprised if he's actually likely lost more than $50 million when it's all said and done um, or a hundred million, whatever, whatever the number is. But bottom line, the trial is an absolute circus. And I have laughed more at some of the proceedings, just listening to some of the things that they did to each other. Some of the ways that Johnny Depp is also talking to Amber Heard's lawyer has been really funny, too. But I was curious, what's your take on it? And have you heard anything about it or have you followed it at all on social media? Well, a few things. One, we actually hired Johnny Depp to do the um, biopic on the rant's true Hollywood story. <laughs> but when all of this came out, we we had to do the right thing and just kind of cancel it until we see what happens. So kudos for us. Okay, so a little insight here. John and I get together from the minute we literally, from the minute we stop recording to the next time we start recording, we're sending each other news articles throughout Mm -hmm. all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And this trial has been going on for some time now, and I keep seeing it pop up on my screen, and I'm like, I'm not talking about this. I'm not, because it just seemed like every day it got crazier and crazier. Mm -hmm. And now we're to the point When people are crapping in beds and cutting fingers off (laughs) and there's pictures of drug use and we're playing video, we're playing messages of like, you attacked me. And she's like, yeah, sorry, baby. I lost my mind last night. I'm like, we got to talk about this stupid thing. I do want to say, however, that the two happiest people about what is going on with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard right now is Will and Jada Pinkett Smith because they're going... (laughs) Hey, look, we're not them, all right? Like, like, like. We might be crazy, but we ain't, we ain't that. I ain't cut off Will's finger yet. I mean, like, they're sitting there like, yeah, yeah, I cheated on him, whatever. But you know what? I've never crapped in his bed because of an argument. <laughs> Will Smith isn't under oath right now talking about all the drugs he did with Marilyn Manson, which that was a great clip when they're like, so did you do drugs with Marilyn Manson? And Johnny Depp's got it like, Oh, man, I mean, you don't want to be a snitch and be like, yeah, yeah, what what night, all right? But two, you're under oath, so you got to be honest. But also three, it's not like, you know, yeah, I did cocaine with Marilyn Manson. Like Marilyn Manson's sitting in Hollywood right now being like, oh, man, 
There goes my ABC family television show. Oh, <laughs> death. What did you do to me? But it was awkward to watch. This has been, I try not to, by the way, you mentioned the Kardashians. We, we owe you a review on episode number two, but my brain can only handle so much in either the Kardashians or the Johnny Depp Amber Heard story. And John, John won the coin flip tonight. So we got to talk about this. These two are nuts. That's all I'm going to say is, yeah. yeah, I mean, Johnny Depp doesn't look great in this, but he doesn't look like her. But she, I, I, dude, I can't wait for her to take the stand. I, I can't wait. And I guess my favorite part of watching these, these videos and, you know, when, when it's like the minute that you watch one and you're like, oh, I can't get worse. Then it's like click refresh. And then it's like, she did what? She actually crapped in his bed. Wait a minute. You have a picture of it? No way. <laughs> well, okay. If you're going through the trouble of recording conversations, taking pictures of number twos on the bed, taking pictures of the drug use, why are we still married to each other? Right. Well, that's the thing is they're divorced and and the divorce is what set off all of this. Post divorce, she's the one that wrote the op-ed that basically called him an abuser. And he was like, "No, no, 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 no." <laughs> and so all of this other stuff started coming out. And you know the crazy part about it is in in and this is true narcissist fashion. I think you'll probably agree here. She recorded a conversation of her talking to him the way that she did and somehow thought that it would make her look good. There's actually a conversation of her saying some of the things that you mentioned earlier. And somehow in her brain, she thought that that made her look better, I guess. You know, her sitting there basically admitting to physical abuse on the phone. I just, I, I, I don't know. I've been baffled by this entire proceeding. Like I said, the, the, the highlights have been the, you know, that, that he got the end of his finger chopped off. And um, I don't even think that's the weirdest thing. I mean, chopping a finger off. I think that happened on date one. The rest of this stuff is <laughs> just, and we're going to, we'll, we'll link to it in this, in the description here. Go check out our boy Hario over the top. He's on YouTube and TikTok and everything. And, He's like an expert in narcissistic relationships and how to deal with like narcissistic abuse. And yes, in true narcissistic fashion, they're justified in that brain of theirs that, yeah, I look crazy, but it's your fault of what you did to me. And I want to thank Hario for sharing that, like always his insight and his brilliance. Because when I look at situations like this Amber Heard, Johnny Depp situation, like you go, Oh, she thinks she's like she thinks she's justified for doing all of this to him because he, you know, he looked at a woman or he didn't return her text or she just feels like whatever. Like she's justified for chopping a finger off. And, you know, you know, Johnny Depp's lawyers are holding on to something for when she takes the stand. You know it. And kudos to Johnny Depp for protecting himself and documenting, recording, doing all of this stuff. Because if he didn't, it would be his word against hers. And she recorded the episodes or the fights that would, I guess, in her mind, make her look good. They didn't. But it also has been hilarious to watch Johnny Depp's pure and utter disgust answering her lawyers in these questions. Like he knows, yeah, I'm going to be about $100 million richer here in a couple of weeks. So y'all just keep talking. All right. Keep talking. Yep. What do you think the judge yeah. is thinking during this whole thing? Like the judges has got to be sitting here and like, I'm I'm retiring. Like I'm going to the yeah. Barbados after this. Yeah, I mean the, the the judge has to be just so fed up with everything because the other thing you were you were talking about the way that he responds to the lawyers. It, it every time they try to ask a question, it's like her her lawyer pipes up and says, "Objection, Your Honor, that's hearsay." Objection, Your Honor, that's hearsay. Objection, Your Honor, that's hearsay. Like, oh, my word. Yeah, what What do you mean it's hearsay? It's like he saw it happen. It's got to come from his mouth. It's not hearsay. I love the fact also that when they're showing the stuff of, like, Johnny Depp's drug use, they flip it right back around and we're like, well, did she do any? 
<laughs> which is like pure narc fashion right there. Once again, right. thank you, Hario, over the top for your insight in this stuff. It's like, well, yeah, you did it, Bull, did you? Well, yeah, but he should have never bought it. Right, right. Somehow it try, tries to make him out to it tries to make it out that he's the bad guy in all of this because he yeah. he did drugs when when she probably allegedly I'll say that to protect the ranch show here uh, allegedly probably did a few bumps of her own while they were together there. It's not like he was just on an island. Well, um, maybe when they were okay. together. I want to be fair to Amber Heard right now. We're gonna be fair. Maybe she wasn't doing the lines with Johnny Depp and Marilyn Manson because she was too busy sharpening the knives. Come on! (laughs) 